zookeepers play multiple roles in caring for the animals in their care, while interacting with and feeding the animals are part and parcel of their responsibilities. There's more to it than meets the eye. Tucked in the heart of Sri Kembangan Lice Farm in the city, a nature conservation park and zoo that features over 150 species of animals. Today we're going to meet up with Muhammad Kairula, also known as Kai, to take a look at a typical day in the life of a zookeeper. Hey Kai, Hello. thank you so much. Yeah. Kai's typical day starts around 8 a.m. when he tackles his first task, housekeeping. He has to make sure all the animal enclosures are in pristine condition before the gates are open at 10 a.m. to welcome visitors. Pertama sekali, kita orang uh, 8 8:30 tu adalah timing untuk cleaning sahaja. Uh, so akan tarik pipe, tembak semua uh, sampah-sampah ke tepi and then akan sapu sampah. Lepas tu, pagi tu akan buang sampah dulu and then sampailah betul-betul clear. Once all the enclosures are cleaned, Kai begins distributing heaps of chopped carrots and cabbage to the various feeding stations scattered throughout the zoo so visitors can interact with the animals by feeding them. In the afternoon, Kai fulfills yet another role, that of a caretaker. He explains that every station in the zoo is manned by a few zookeepers as no animal can be left unattended under any circumstances. Ada tugas, contohnya cleaning tasik and then uh, kotor-kotoran kat tasik ke apa ke dekat longkang-longkang ke and then potong trim-trim pokok ke and then uh, transfer haiwan ke uh, macam tu and then ada projek-projek yang kecil-kecil enrichment ke uh, tu kita akan buat. Kai points out that enrichment is an important part of encouraging the natural behaviours of the animals. He explains that besides playing the roles of cleaner, animal feeder and caretaker, ensuring the health of the animals is also a top priority. Kita orang juga akan memastikan keadaan kesihatan haiwan tersebut. Contohnya jika ada sakit yang tak begitu fatal ataupun tak begitu uh, major sangat penyakit dia kita orang akan rawat sendiri mengikut kehendak yang doktor sarankan Once visitors start streaming in Kai plays the role of guest relations officer taking visitors in particular children around to the various enclosures to meet the animals there He shares his knowledge of the different species with them and answers any questions they may have about the animals. Farm in the city encourages visitor interactions with your animals. Next to me is Ali, an alpaca from Argentina. Here you go. Kai tells me that alpacas live in cold areas. To prevent heat stress, fans and air coolers are provided to keep Ali cool. Once the clock strikes 5.30pm, it's feeding time, a task that requires some heavy lifting, quite literally, as the standard weight of a basket of food is 60kg. Uh, orang panggil itu, mengeluh secara biasa lah, penat lah. Ah, penatnya, uh, just macam tu saja, tak ada lah. Ayuh, malas lah kerja, tak nak lah kerja lepas ni, uh, tak ada. Uh, itu bukan saya punya sikap lah, uh, itu saja. When closing time comes around at 6pm, Every animal is given the once over, just to ensure none are injured in any way or looking sick. The zookeepers also do a head count to make sure no animal has gone missing. Tu malam akan ada pergantian orang untuk menjaga, okay? Dan yang itu security kami. Security kami akan buat pantauan setiap dua jam sekali pusing, pusing, pusing. Anda kata ada berlaku kecemasan, mereka akan call. Orang yang paling berdekatan dekat farm ni. So dekat sini pun ada uh, apa ni? Orang yang akan jaga malam on call terus datang. Uh, macam tu. 
Kai says the best part about his job is caring for and training the animals at the zoo from the time they were born. Ah, uh, itu kita akan rasa uh, appreciate, ah, uh, menghargai sesuatu uh, keindahan lah macam tu kan. Uh. Kai dreams of opening a small petting zoo of his own in his hometown in Kuantan someday. He says that to be a good zookeeper, one must have passion for the job. Kedua, bertolak ansur. Jangan berkira. Ha, yang berkira tu yang paling ni lah, yang paling biasanya yang berlaku kan. And then, kerjasama adalah satu benda yang paling penting kat mana-mana pun. And then, yang paling last bagi saya adalah minat yang mendalam berkenaan dengan apa yang kita buat. It takes a special kind of dedication to provide care to captive animals that require attention 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, come rain or shine. If you're a farm in the city, stop to talk to a zookeeper. They might seem to be in a rush, but they're more than willing to educate you about the animals, which explains why they chose to be in this field. Samuel Chua for FMT News.